Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be trying some beautiful handmade watercolours from India. These were kindly sent to me by Tripti from Arkar Creation. She asked me to share them with you, but all views and opinions in this video will be my own. Arkar Creation is a family business and these gorgeous sketchbooks are actually made by Tripti's husband. He uses handmade paper from other small businesses in India. Alongside the Flowers of Memories palette, Tripti also included an incredible 30 colours from her range of paints for me to try. I currently have this empty metal paint palette in my studio and I figured it would be perfect to put these colours in. So I've just re-wet all of the paints using my little glass dropper bottle which comes in handy when you're working from a palette and they're dried paints because sometimes they can take a little while, um, paints in pans can take a little while to become reactivated. Especially handmade paints, it's not always the case but sometimes I like to give them just a little bit longer to re-wet so um, I tend to do that a couple of minutes before I'm going to use them. So this is how they look in the palette and it seems like they just fit in here perfectly. I've actually been able to separate out because obviously we didn't have quite enough to fill this bottom row, which was a good thing because I wanted to separate out the little six color Flowers of Memories palette. So I've kept those separate because I think it's such a beautiful palette. Um, and all of the rest, all of the single colors, I've basically arranged from buff titanium through to these gorgeous earthy yellows and oranges through to the reds and on the second row we had the pinks going through to sort of violets and purples to blues, greens and finally the browns and the Mars black. I swatched all of these colours out very very briefly on a piece of scrap paper just so I could see what they looked like when they were wet. And, um, and that's helped me to decide basically which order they should go in in the palette. But I'm gonna swatch them out properly for you now. I've prepared this swatch sheet, so I have the names of all of the colors written down. I've separated out the Flowers of Memories palette at the bottom here. So if at any point during the video you see a color you particularly like, you can just pause the video, zoom in and make a note of it. Or you can wait until the end and when the swatches are dry, I'll hold them up to the camera and you can get a really good look at the colors. And also because the writing is actually quite small, you can also see that a little bit more clearly. I'm also gonna be making this available as a high res download on my Patreon um, for my patrons. So that will be exclusively for them when the swatch sheet is finished. I will either scan it or photograph it and they can have access to the high res download if they'd like. So we're starting with buff titanium. It's a lovely smooth paint. Feels really creamy this one. I know that with some handmade paints they're a little bit more um, like gritty. If that's the right word. <laughs> So the next one is Felsight. I really love earthy yellows. So this one seems quite transparent. 
Again, this seemed to re-wet really nicely. They have been sitting there for a few minutes now um, with the water on them. The third one is Limonite. This one reminds me of like a yellow ochre. A little bit darker than the fell site. So this one is Moroccan ochre. Let's see how different this looks. Oh yeah, that's slightly more orange. Beautiful earthy colours. I'm really liking the formulation of the paints. They've all re-wet really nicely so far. So we have another yellow next, and this is the oxide yellow. Oh, this is a lovely rich color. Seems maybe slightly more opaque than the others, perhaps. Look at that lovely golden glow as we wash that one out. That's really nice. Yeah, that one really seems to glow. Okay, so next up is Italian brown ochre. It's a lovely rich reddish brown. Look how beautiful they look. I love how smooth they are. And moving on to orange ochre. Gorgeous, rich colours. I do love how the oxide yellow seems to glow. We can see which ones are more granulating actually. The limonite seems to be quite a granulating colour. The oxide yellow isn't, at least not at the moment. So this one is Mars Orange. Oh wow, what a colour. This one also seems to glow. Gosh, that is a pretty colour. I'm really impressed with how much pigment there is in these paints. You don't need much, <laughs> it goes a long way. So this one is Ercolano Red. Lovely sort of brick red color. And then we have Armenian Hematite. Such a gorgeous colour. Reminds me a little bit of a bit like a put mortem. Wow, these look gorgeous, don't they? Together. Lovely earthy colours. It's interesting to see which ones will granulate and which won't. The limonite really looks like it granulates nicely. The Mars orange is granulating slightly as well. I think the Armenian hematite too. 
Okay, so this one is terracotta. Oh, that's a gorgeous, rich red. Gosh, you really don't need um, very much of these paints. <laughs> a little does go a long way. Which is a great thing. Oh, I love how the Armenian hematite is looking. That's really granulating beautifully. Okay, so the next one is Mars Red Cool. Oh, this is a nice opaque colour. Okay, the next one is Indian Red. Oh, this already looks like a really gorgeous colour. Look how rich that is. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have so much on my brush that I don't need. I keep picking up so much thinking that they're not going to go as far as they do. Need a bit more water with that one. Oh, that is a stunning colour, isn't it? Wow, how beautiful. I'm loving this one. Tripti has very kindly given me um, a discount code that's especially for my followers. So I'm going to pop that in the description beneath the video. Um, there's one for my followers on YouTube and there's a slightly higher discount for my followers on Patreon, which I will post on Patreon, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, if you're a patron, keep an eye out for that one. Yeah, she's given 10% off any order for my YouTube subscribers, my viewers. I don't think you have to be a subscriber, but hopefully you are a subscriber. <laughs> that would be nice. But yeah, anyone who's watching this video, go and check out Trip T's shop. And... Um, and use your code to get 10% off if you place an order. This Potter's Pink, I always love Potter's Pink. This is a gorgeous, strong Potter's Pink. Yeah, Potter's Pink can sometimes be quite a weak colour, but this is really, it really has some depth to it. It's gorgeous. Yes, I'll put all of the details um, where you can find Trip T on Instagram and where you can find our car creations on Instagram and their shop. All of those will be in the description beneath this video. I'm really impressed with these colours so far. So this one's called Rouge. I'm going to have to do quite a thin swatch of this one, I think. <laughs> My swatches are a bit uneven. I spaced them out a bit much there and we've become gradually more even as we've gone along. But um, I think this one's going to have to be quite a thin one. This is a very pretty pink. This reminds me of the Rhodonite from Daniel Smith. Love that. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. I think there's something wrong with the paper, not the paint. Let's just add a little bit more at the top here. I think I've accidentally wiped too much off. And the next one along is Tough Purple. I love that name. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice, um, dusky, moody colour, isn't it? I mustn't put my hand in the other swatches. I don't know if they're fully dry yet. Oh, I love that colour. be interesting to see how that one dries, won't it? So the next one is called Mulberry Wine which is a lovely name. Oh wow, I've got another really strong colour here. Gosh, the amount of pigment in these paints. Incredible. 
Oh wow, this is such a pretty colour. Oh, they look so nice together. Right, the next one is Metamorphosis. Love the name. And I think this is a really interesting paint. Just gonna make sure I mix that up a bit. We'll give it some room to move around because it looks incredibly dark in the mass tone. If we let it run into the water a little. Oh, look at it, it's so gorgeous. Wow. Whoops. Oh, well, we'll just make the swatch a bit bigger. <laughs> look at it, it's separating. I hope I've given it enough space to move around. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Granulating and separating. Slightly like a reddish brown with blue in there, I think, as well. Or some violet or something. Okay, the next one is Shadow. I love this name. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> They've got nice names. I kind of feel like this is another one that needs more space to move around. My goodness, I'm loving these paints. Thank you, Trip T. <laughs> I feel like I've been really spoiled. I was only expecting her to send like, I don't know, maybe 15 maximum. <laughs> I didn't expect to have like 36 different colours to try. I feel so lucky because they are really gorgeous paints and I can promise you I will definitely be using these in my work. I'm an Arcar Creations fan now. <laughs> Let's just take a little bit off there so we can let that move around a bit. Look what's happening to Metamorphosis. I'll hold that up closer to the camera at the end. Okay, the next one is called Das Schloss and I had to look this up because obviously I'm just checking I'm <laughs> wetting the right paint here. Um, that is the right one, isn't it? Yeah. I had to look this up because I was curious as to what Das Schloss... I can't say it. Das Schloss... Dash... <laughs> Oh dear, challenging. I'm struggling here. Okay. Das Schloss. I think that's right. I was curious as to what it meant. It actually means the castle, which is much easier for me to say. <laughs> oh dear. Challenged by the names again. Well, it wouldn't be a Natasha Newton video if I didn't mispronounce at least a couple of the names, would it? <laughs> Look at that. That is a lovely, separating, gorgeous, moody colour again. I am really loving these. Okay, so when I um, agreed to Tripti sending me some paints, I asked her whether they could be light fast paints because I sell my original work and I told her that that's an important factor for me. Um, and so I believe she has sent, I'm going to double check with her, that the rest are um, pretty much light fast. But I know she told me that the genuine warm indigo isn't, but she's sending it to me anyway because she said, I thought you might like to try a genuine indigo from India. So, um, look at this, this is so, I'm just so sad that indigo isn't light fast because it is the most gorgeous colour. I'll definitely use it for like sketchbook work and so on, or work that's going to be scanned and made into prints or whatever. But that is so beautiful. What a colour. So I've actually marked that one as not being light fast. Um, and I actually put the castle in brackets for Das Slosh. No, I still can't say it. <laughs> okay, the next one is Vivianite Blue. 
I seem to remember I loved this one when I did a small swatch of it when I was planning out the palette. And yes, look at that moody blue. That's definitely a Natasha Newton blue, isn't it? That is another stunning colour. Gosh, there are so many nice ones. <laughs> How am I going to pick my favourites from these? I mean, I don't necessarily have to pick favourites. I want to create some artwork after this with like just a few of the colours. It's going to be hard to choose a few <laughs> from this palette. There are so many good ones. Right, the next one is Vintage Green. I absolutely love this colour when I saw it on her website and I was like, I really, really love this one. I think it's my favourite. And yes, swatched out in person here. This is gonna be a definite favorite for me. Wow. Okay, so it has a slight, I would say it's a slight, oh gosh, bluish green almost. Um, reminds me a little bit, and this is the highest praise indeed, of Forest Blue, the Schmincke Horadam Super Granulating Paint. Um, it's reminding me a little bit of that and that is one of my favorite colors ever. So that really is high praise. That is a beautiful color, my goodness. The Vivianite Blue and the Vintage Green, look at them, they're stunning. They're just so moody. I can't help but love a moody colour. Okay, the next one is chrome green, so we're going a bit brighter here now. That's a lovely opaque green. See what I mean by these paints? There's so much pigment, my goodness. I kind of feel like these would last such a long time. Because you need so little to get the coverage. Gosh, that's a really opaque colour. Beautiful green. Very nice sitting next to that vintage green too. Let's just try to lift some of that off so we can have a better impression of how it looks when it's not quite so thick. So the next one has a lovely name as well. It's called Verdant. And this looks to be, I would say, more of a sap green, like a darker sap green. Quite a bit of yellow in there, I think, and it looks like it's a granulating colour. Oh, that's lovely. It's making the same kind of texture as the Daniel Smith Zoisite does. Reminding me of that in the texture. Look at that, the yellow is really coming through now. Okay, now we're moving on to the browns. So we have Cypress Raw Umber. It's lovely, quite a transparent brown. And then Cypress Burnt Umber. So this is quite a bit darker, I think, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a lovely rich brown. I love this type of brown. Then we have Cadmium Brown. rich reddish brown so 
So Castle Earth is the next one. Oh, another lovely rich brown. Very nice selection of browns. They work really well together, don't they? You've got this slightly yellow brown and the more sort of mid-toned to dark brown, reddish brown and this gorgeous dark brown here. And then finally we have Mars Black. I do like Mars Black. I kind of feel like it's quite a warm black usually. And also, is it normally quite granulating? So it's on to the Flowers of Memories palette now and I'm going to start with the Van Dyke Brown. Oh, this is interesting. It has a bit of texture to it. Sorry, the paint palette keeps rattling a bit. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice shade of brown. Be interesting to see how this one dries. Really liking the shade of that one and the transparency. Okay, the next one is Sartorius Earth. Lovely earthy colour. So yeah, as I wrote at the beginning, this palette is apparently inspired by the beautiful hues of book pressed flowers. But I just love that so much. I don't know why, but there's something about that, like the title, Flowers of Memories. I'm thinking that that's what this is inspired by. It makes me feel kind of quite emotional. Do you know what I mean? Or is that just me and my hormones? <laughs> but no, it is, it's kind of, nostalgic and a bit poignant. I think it's a really lovely title for a palette. So this one is called Desert Rose. Love these gorgeous earthy muted colours. The next one is a brighter colour and it's called Omera. I don't know whether I'm saying that correctly. Wow, what a colour. Look at that. It's a beautiful red and actually quite unlike any of the other reds I have on this page. Okay, so the next colour is called Rust. And if I recall correctly, from when I did my tiny swatch, this is a really interesting colour. Oh wow. Again, so much pigment in these paints. Tripti, I have to say, you really know what you're doing with this paint making malarkey. My goodness. They are such beautiful paints. I mean, you can see this from the swatches, I'm sure. Right, I'm just gonna give this one a little bit of space to perhaps move around a bit. And the final paint that we're going to be swatching today, I'm kind of sad to have come to the end, but I mean, my goodness, I feel so incredibly lucky to have been sent these paints and I promise you Tripti I will be using them in my work I'm sure regularly because I'm really impressed with them. This is green Vivianite and this has a really interesting texture. I do love the greens that she's come up with. Very interesting selection of greens. 
Okay, so I've moved the camera a bit closer to the swatches. Um, I'm just going to show you them all very slowly <laughs> so you can actually pause and jot down any that you particularly like. And you can see how they look now they're dry. Some really interesting granulating colours as well. Love this metamorphosis. Look at that. Very interesting colour. It's separating and it's granulating. It's got this amazing texture. Shadow is a really lovely colour too. That's very much the kind of colour I would use. This is a very interesting separating colour as well. Um, the warm indigo, look at that. Beautiful colour. Um, I mean, I could basically talk about all of them because they truly are all stunning colours and don't they look great all together? I think it's just such a beautiful palette and I know that I'm going to use it so often in my work. I know this is one I'm going to be reaching for. Thank you again Tripti. I feel so incredibly lucky to have these colours. Um, just move that along. Look at the potter's pink. It's a really nice potter's pink. Some of them can be quite pale. This one really has a bit of oomph to it. And then look at those greens as well. And the browns are really nice. Just, I love everything, basically. And there we go, the Flowers of Memories palette at the bottom. I realised afterwards that the green Vivianite was off screen when I was swatching it, so I apologise for that. I didn't realise until afterwards, because I can't um, see the camera from where I am. So yeah but look what's happening look what's happened to rust now it's drying i mean it's not fully dry yet these ones are but these ones aren't i'm just going to bring that up do you see what's happening with rust it's got a really interesting color separation going on a nice texture as well and the van dyke brown look at that they're all beautiful i mean they all go together so nicely and they are reminiscent of pressed flowers, aren't they? If I had to choose a favourite, I think my favourite might be the vintage green. If I had to just choose one, it's really hard because there are so many I absolutely love. But I think being a bit of a green fan and a bit of a kind of sexy, moody, colour kind of fan. <laughs> the vintage green ticks all of those boxes. That is just a stunning colour. Look at verdant as well. That texture and separation. Anyway, they're all just so beautiful. What I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to choose a limited palette of maybe six colours and I'm going to create some artwork with them. So what I'll do is I will speed up. It will be a bit of a time lapse because this video is already very, very long. So yeah, I'll put some nice music on and you can watch me create some artwork with these amazing paints. Mm -hmm. 